welcome back to Be Wowed by April Lee, and I am your host, April Lee. Thank you so much for joining me back today. Today is episode number five. Can you believe that? I'm on five already. And I already have over 50 subscribers. So thank you to everyone who is making this um, channel grow so fast I, beyond my beliefs. I just never imagined um, once I hit that 100 mark, I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway. So I'm super excited about that. I cannot wait. Like it's taken all I can do not to do a giveaway right now. Um, but I thought I'd just jump on here real quick. I finally received my order that I placed on, um, dollartree.com. Uh, they do actually have some yarn, not a lot. It's just basically what their other stores are trying to get uh, get rid of. So, um, but you do have to purchase them by the six pack, which still isn't bad because technically, what you bought six of them for when they were on the shelves, you were buying them for that price for one. So it's actually a really good price. So let me show you what I got. Um, I ordered this like over a month ago. Um, I didn't get much. I just got four different kinds of yarn. So um, they're all Red Heart Boutique Unforgettables. Um, so the first one, I'm going to leave them in the bags too, just in case I do give away. Plus I do have pets, so I like to keep them in bags if I can. The first one is called river riverbank and it is a beautiful and of course this lighting i'm sorry i will be getting different lighting or changing to a new room i actually have um someone contacted me yesterday and is giving me a beautiful desk to put into my craft room and i now have a um desk chair thanks to my work who had purchased all new chairs for our for us so they allowed me to take home one of the older ones um but anyhow this is really really pretty i'm going to leave it down in the corner because it seems to not darken up but if you can kind of see the colors that they're like grayish blues and gray silvers it's a really really pretty color um they are let's see here they are a number four suggested hook size 5.5. You can machine wash and dry them and they're a hundred percent acrylic. So that is the first color that I got was the riverbank. I thought that was really, really pretty. And these are super soft. These are like roving yarn. Um, so they, they're thin and thick in certain areas. Um, but they're, uh, it's a very, very easy yarn to work with but they don't frog very well. When you frog them, they kind of sometimes stick. It all depends on your crocheting. The next color I got is called Aurora and it's a deep, deep, uh, like royal blue, teals, purples, maroons. It's very, very pretty. I don't know if you can kind of see that really really hard to see the colors with this lighting and I apologize as I go on I will be getting some different lighting but these are just gorgeous um, it's a gorgeous gorgeous yarn kind of you can kind of see right there with the lighting oops so if you hopefully you can see that these are just absolutely gorgeous and I love this this feel of these and then the other one that I got is called Bazaar. So this is more of um, some oranges, reds, blues, um, pinks, greens. It's just kind of like some really, really pretty colors. All my favorite colors together. So I really love them all. Um, and I, only, like, I just got six of each of those Oh no, I got three colors. One, two, three. Yeah, I just got three colors. Um, so that's awesome. And then I bought, 
And I just thought these were cute because I didn't see them in the stores. They're little photo line. This guy white. They're little photo lines with the little paper clips that has, if you look on the back of them, it has a string in there and it has the suction cups right here so that you can hang photos on your wall or on your windows, if you can see that. I thought that was really, really cute. So I grabbed a couple of those. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I might throw one or two here and away in a giveaway, but I just thought they were really, really adorable. So that's actually all I had for my acquisitions um, for my finished objects. I have a couple of them. Let me bend down and grab them real quick. So as I, I made two bag holders. So this one's a larger one. This one I'm going to keep because I have a lot of bags. And then I made this one. So and I'm going to make some different kind of patterns as well. They have to get washed. Um because my dog decided she wanted what was in my bowl that I accidentally left on the um, my little stand here last night and spilt it all over this. And then I made myself a new scrubby for my kitchen. And I love these colors. And I made it to kind of look like a suitcase. So it's got the greens and the purples and the blues in there. And then I made a little holder on it just to hang over. I know it looks kind of odd and usually, but I literally just did this sitting at the, on the couch just to make a new one. But, and then I can just have that to hang over my, my faucet. And that has to get washed too, because she made a mess out of that. And then I tried, <laughs> this is why I don't do corner to corners. Um, please forgive the way it looks. It's got some food on it. But I made this corner to corner dishcloth and I thought it was turning out really well till I got to that part, which was the ending. So as you can tell, I don't do very well with corner to corner. So I have no idea. I followed the pattern. Um, mm -hmm. at least I thought I did. But so it's just something I'm going to keep for myself. Um, once again, once it's washed. So those are, that's that. And I have one more thing that I am actually currently working on. And it is a bumblebee. And this is a free pattern. I will link it down below so that if you want to make it, you can. Um, so, um, but I love bumblebees. Well, I don't love the actual bug themselves. They kind of scare me. But I like the, the stuffed animal bumblebees and, and how they look. I don't know how to explain that. But um, I'm going to work on him a little bit later here if I get a moment to. Um, but he is, I'm starting to work up on his head now. I'm to the point where I need to start putting in like his eyes and his mouth and things like that. Um, and he's only supposed to be about eight inches high, so he should only be about this much higher and then have his white wings and his little tennies up on top. Um, but he's super easy to make. Um, and as you can tell, I still am not good with the whole seam thing. This is something that I know amigurumi makers on Facebook battle with all the time. So if you find a video that you feel it has helped you a lot, please share it in the comments below because not only myself would love to see this, I have several people that I know who make amigurumis who also have that same issue and would love to have this issue fixed because it bothers me just like it bothers them. But I figured this is for me and I wasn't, I, I did try down here to figure out a way, but my way didn't work. So I gave up and I just kept doing the traditional way. Um, since you are working in the rounds, it kind of, you know, works that way. But 
is for me and he's cute and he's going to be cute and I will show you hopefully on my next video he will definitely be done um I said hopefully and then definitely you know what I mean um but other than that I really don't have anything else I'm working on finishing my purse um which is blocking right now it's a circle purse um, and once I get that done, I will post that, um, I will come on and, and show you that finished object, um, and show you where I found that. It's, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but I, um, I will post a link to the, to the YouTube videos, because it was a crochet along that I started last August, I think, or last, yeah, last August or something. I was going to introduce, I put it into the county, my, my fair. Um, but I didn't get it done in time. So this year it's going into the fair along with my spirit, the eagle. And I'm hoping to, I'm going to work on a scarf. Um, and it's Santa and the reindeer scarf by Snappy Tots. Heidi Yates is the designer. And then I also have something from her that I really want to make, um, for the, fair as well it's a cake and it's like a lopsided cake it's really really adorable um so i'm hope i gotta get started on those i keep procrastinating and then i'll it'll get down to the wire um but other than that i just wanted to hop on here and show you uh, my acquisitions and my one whip that i have going i will be starting um i want to start a why does my brain always freeze? I want to start a shawl. And I've been kind of messing around with figuring out which shawl pattern. I've been kind of seeing a couple shawl patterns that I really, really like. Um, and then I find another one I like. And I, I just want to make it. But then again, I'm worried about if you start the triangle shawl. I'm not good with things like that. Because again, that's kind of like the corner to corner thing. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And when the time is right, I'll start it. Um, I know um, I try not to push myself to do things that I don't want to do because then it's not fun. And I can't put the love into it like I need to and how I should. So and now that I got all that done, I am going to say later for now. And I hope to be able to post this video shortly. And I have another one coming up that I just want to kind of chat and um, things like that. Not sure. At this point, I'm trying to get a schedule as to when I'm going to be posting regular videos. Um, but with being new, I'm just I'm still getting the hang of it and still trying to incorporate it into my life. So just bear with me, but I do plan on trying to upload at least once one, once a week. Um, I do have a box that's coming on its way from a giveaway yet. I should be receiving any time when I do get that. I will be doing the unboxing. So that would probably be my next video, honestly. Um, but anyhow, um, just want to say I hope you all have a good night and happy hooking.